It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host Ben. Now let's dive in. Bitcoin pushing up to that 52,000 area. We are getting some resistance there and we are holding up the 10 day moving average as support. So not quite a triangle yet. I mean, this could be considered a triangle, maybe something like that. But regardless, it's consolidation. Just getting a lot of selling pressure at that 52 area. Good thing is we're holding above 50,000. If we're trying to test higher resistance, that's where we want to be at. We want to be testing that resistance. I think we'll see a break through this 52,000 area. If it doesn't continue on this 10 day moving average right here and it drops back down, it'll drop back down to 50 and we should get a test of support there and then bounce up to 55,000. That's the only two options I see right now. Either a break up straight up to 55 or a pull back to 50 with a bounce up to 55. I don't see a, a big crash coming from right here, a big huge pullback uh, right away. Plus, I mean, I'm doing this. These are daily crypto updates. So, you know, by Friday, things could change. But as of now, I only see those two options. Ethereum really struggling to even get back to 4,000. It's a little concerning. But we do have this support at 38.40 that has held up. And it just kind of looks like we're in a, a channel right now of consolidation. So just got to see it push back up and start testing 4,000. It's, it's following behind Bitcoin a little late. Or maybe it's getting adopted and seeing enough volume to where it's going to start running against Bitcoin a little bit, doing different moves than just following it. So either way, it looks good as long as it's hanging in here. This is just consolidation. We'll see a breakup or a breakdown out of it soon. But it's, if everything continues bullish, we're still seeing altcoins break out. I think we'll see uh, Ethereum break over four. But do keep an eye on it if it does start coming back down to this 3,800 area. So top gainer on the day is Keep. This just had an explosion making new highs all the way up to 85 almost. Currently trying to hold some support at 60 cents. We may see that hold as there was a little congestion in the area, but I would expect 55 or maybe 50 to be the new support. And we could see it back down there because this was a lot of selling pressure, but nice rip there so far. Solana breaking that 150,000 area, pushing all the way up to 162. That was a possibility that I said could happen. And it sure did, making a nice little U-shape up to the 150 area. Perfect consolidation pattern and breakout coming. We are getting held up in this 160 area, but at this point, I think we see Solana up to 175. It's getting due for a decent size correction, but still very, very bullish. The higher it gets, though, the closer, if it does get up to 175 and starts breaking that, I definitely expect some type of rejection in the 190 to 200 area, but up 14% today. So Cardano, it's a little sketchy right now. Not able to hold up that 285, actually making a lower low and a lower high recently. That 10 day has almost crossed the 50. If the 10 day crosses back below the 50, we could see a bearish move on this. Like I've been saying, it could possibly be back down to 250 maybe even lower but the last time that it was under the 50 was right here before the big leg up two three dollars so maybe that's a possibility that's about to happen cardano could be about to push off of this trend line and explode through three dollars but it's held that 50 day moving average since it had the big bearish drop so this would be the first time if it doesn't hold up that it would be bearish below that so I don't know. We may even see it back down the 200 day. I've moved some more profits out of Cardano. Maybe it's going to explode out of three. It's just, it, it's getting a little sketchy at this point in this consolidation. But we'll see what happens. It is trying to hold. Algorand finally getting a pop. This is another one of the blockchains. I've mentioned it here and there, saying it's one to keep an eye on. Pushing all the way up to 140. I expect a dollar at this point to be new support on Algorand to the point to where unless something dramatic happens like a security breach we may not see Algorand back below a dollar. It does look like it's just getting going on this push 
Got to break through 150. Break of 150, we could see it move up to the 175, maybe $2 area. So Algorand looking very bullish. Maybe the next blockchain uh, coin to really run. So Adam had a little pullback. I took that as a buying opportunity. Bought me a little bit more. It's pushed back up. You know, a lot of other people apparently saw this as a buying opportunity. Also, off this bounce of the 50, it's trying to hold that $25 support. I expect it to hold that $25 support. If not, the 50 days at 23.90, basically 24, we got quite a bit of support building below us. So CLGD after that pop the other day, having another little slow die off. I'm still holding. I may even add to this position. I think this is a little cheaper than what I got in at. But it looks like it's going to try to hold this $5 area as support. And on this round, we're kind of holding the 515 area. So that's a nice sign seeing the floor moving up. Clover Finance, I haven't mentioned this one in a little while. It's just been consolidating in this channel. Did get a pop at the end of August up to 220 before pulling back below that $2 resistance area. That's very strong resistance. But we are building higher lows on Clover this low here this low here and this looks to be a new higher low and we're building a higher high so new high new high new high very bullish looking pattern we could see clover break over two and if it breaks over two i'm not exactly sure how far it will go because it is a newer coin it is pretty volatile when it gets a lot of volume as you can see on the chart so i would say yeah, $3 is probably a fair price. If it really gets going, maybe we see it up to $5. It's just getting overshadowed right now by a lot of the other coins. Uh, may even drop back down to the bottom of the channel here to $1.50, which could be possibly a good entry. Farm holding up the bottom of this triangle, holding up that uptrend. I did take an entry on this. I bought almost a whole farm, so about 200 bucks worth on Coinbase Pro. You can see right there, I'm looking to add to it. So I may have to hop off here and add to this position if it starts looking like we're going to push back over that 255 area. Over at 255 area, we can see it back to test that uptrend. But getting very close to the point of this triangle. Luna holding up the bottom of the triangle as well. Trying to hold this trend line. We see a bounce off of here. We should see Luna back up to 35 and probably a breakout on Luna up to 40. That breakout I've been talking about. It did drop below the trend line for a second, but was bought up immediately off of $30 and pushed right back up. If it can't hold and it starts to go a little bearish, then it could pull back down to that 30 again and hold that as support. That would be the next area for it to hold. Mana I did get out of. I took a little profit on that one. It wasn't a huge win. It just taken a while for it to really break out and dumping back down to a dollar so the slow build up that it's having is making pretty good swings where you can just buy off the 50 pretty much and swing when it shoots up and that's kind of what i've been doing with it uh waiting waiting for that big breakout but i just don't want to hold a bunch of capital in a play like this that moves slow constantly when there's other things like solana that's going nuts i'll take the small little gains while i'm swinging it but it's given me plenty of time to get back in it for a possible big move. So we haven't talked about Mirror in a little bit. This is one I really think is going to go to $10 at some point. It is in a consolidation triangle there. Pretty volatile in between that 380 to 440 area. Been held up at 450 multiple times, but the floor that support is keeps on raising, getting higher lows, and that 450 break is what we were looking for. So, not a bad area for us, mirror right now at this 414. If it can hold up, I may look to get back in this possibly, but we'll see. There's a lot of selling pressure right there below five. Numera NMR. This one is broken up into this channel I haven't talked about in a while, but pushing up to that $50 area. I expect it to break that $50 area, especially if the stock market continues to climb. And we should see it up to 60 maybe even 75 
looking pretty bullish on this movement. Not moving quite as fast as some of the other coins. It doesn't move in correlation quite as much as the other coins either. It kind of does its own thing for the most part, but very close to a breakout there. ORN looks like it's building back up to the $10 resistance area. Hasn't been, hasn't held over $10 at all. Has had two pops over it, but couldn't hold either time. Kind of got this double bottom. And right at this moment, we're testing this 950 area as resistance. So this is looking kind of, this is looking a bit bullish here. Like it may try to test 10 tonight. We might see... ORN try to break through 10 and make a nice little pop up unless the market happens to swing the other way but it's one to keep an eye on over the next couple of days so that's all the coins I'm going to cover for today let's hop over here into Coindesk and look at some news CryptoNews.com seems a little lacking in their news they don't have a ton of stuff this side I'm going to check out and see if we've got anything good here so they do have some live PR that's come out today blockchain IOT market to be worth 5.8 billion by 2026 and we've got a former Huobi or Huobi I don't know how you say that executive launch 25 million funds seeking to bridge CFI, DeFi and the metaverse and CFI would be centralized finance uh, so regular banking all the stuff we're used to He's looking to bridge all this together. That would be pretty wild. Thailand's SEC wants to revoke Hyubi's Thailand license. That's sketchy. And this guy just left Hyobi, and now they're trying to revoke Hyobi's license. So if you use Hyobi, you may want to pay attention to see what's going on find out. I've heard of it, but I've never used it. I don't know if I can use it in America. I don't like that. Token issuers need to be brought firmly within our reach. FCA chair says, yeah, okay. KB Asset Management launches a blockchain mutual fund. Let's see if that's in America or not. Yeah, they're going to be investing predominantly in U.S. companies, so this probably will be available in America, I would think. Yeah, yeah, they're looking at NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel as uh, some of the companies they're going to invest in. So this actually could be, it's going to be a very tech-heavy. I like the idea of a tech-heavy ETF geared towards blockchain and crypto instead of just a generic tech heavy ETF. That's pretty good news. We'll see when that comes out on the market. We definitely want to continue to see adoption like that. German Asset Manager Union Investment plans to bring Bitcoin to its private wealth clients. More adoption, some adoption in Germany. Finance getting in trouble again with the country, having to cut SGD trading pairs after a warning from the Singapore regulators. So, yeah, I do like Coindesk for news a lot better than I do CryptoNews.com. We'll be using this from now on. I was trying out a platform that I thought was going to work for crypto trading to start doing the live crypto trading again, the, the live streams. But turned out there are some issues with that platform. So I'm still on the hunt and still using Coinbase Pro as much as I dislike the Coinbase Pro interface. But as soon as I can get that straightened out, we'll start back with the live streams. If there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis that you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts on the overall movements in the crypto market. Are we going to stay bullish or are we going to have a bearish pullback? Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.